Hello everybody. Since a lot of you seem to be having some trouble um, finding your way to your class notebook and posting things there, I thought I would uh, just make a quick little video showing how you do it step by step. So let's say I walk into my Fizz 1201 uh, team and here I am in the posts section. So this is how it looks on my screen. If you're looking at it on a tiny screen, like on your phone, it will look different, um, but it will be essentially the same. You'll have your list of posts and so on. You may or may not see this sidebar, depending on how big a screen you're on. Anyway, here I am. Note that I am in the general feed, and if I click over here, I can go into various other channels. You will only have one of these channels. It'll be your group. Anyway, in the general channel, you'll see several tabs across the top. Posts, files, class notebook, and so on. Again, if you're on a narrow uh, screen, you may not see all of them. Um, let me show you what it looks like for me if I narrow it down. Now, I can't make it so narrow that the class notebook disappears, but you see now posts, files, class notebook, two more, right? Saying that there are a couple of more tabs there that my screen isn't wide enough to show anymore. So if you're on a really narrow screen, you might not see the class notebook tab. It might be in that uh, more notification. Anyway, so I'm going to wander into the class notebook and it'll look a little different for me than it will for you. Uh, here it is in Fizz 1, uh, in Fizz 1201, and what I'm actually looking at right now, I think, is Blue Chandra's notebook. Um, uh, if you're in Fizz 1201 or 1204, probably it will open showing you your group's notebook. I'm not really sure. Uh, but let me come back in and do that again. So here I am again. And what I want to point out is that over here in the corner is this little triangle that says Open Navigation Panel if you hover over it. So if you click that, you'll now see the whole list of notebooks that you have access to, and your list will be a lot shorter than mine. If you are going to post something in general, I'm asking you to post it in your homework section of your own notebook. So you'll probably have your group channel notebook, there will be the collaboration space, which we can all use. Um, there will be the content library, which only I can edit, but you can view. And so it's possible I may put things there for you to see, although I don't think that's the, how I'll get things to you. And then you'll have your own personal notebook. And when I set up Chester's account, I accidentally add him, added him as a student first, so he has a notebook as if he was a student, so I'm going to steal his notebook. So I've just clicked on his notebook, and it's opened up, and you see there are four sections here. Notes, handouts, homework, quizzes, and I'm going to go into homework, and I am going to pretend that I am posting, I don't know, my Unit 8 uh, reading response or something. So here I am, I am Chester, and I am posting my Unit 8 reading response. So let me back up. So let me go back in there. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to right click in this space and it says new page. And so that creates a new page. And you see I've got a cursor here on this line. I'm going to say unit number eight response. So it has a useful title. And you see the title now in the list of pages in this notebook. And now I'm going to click in there. And I find sometimes it's a little stubborn. So you. What I'm trying to get it to do, I'm going to click over here and go, ah, there we go. You see my navigation bar went away and now I just have the page. And now I can click into this page. So if I click insert, you'll see that one of my options is file. If that's grayed out, that means you haven't clicked in, right? So if I come back over here, um, and I don't know, I'll go in somewhere else and I'll come back in, and you see the file, insert file is grayed out now. So I need to click back in there to get that. So I have several task bars, home, insert, draw, and so on. If I'm in draw, I can click in and 
have a text box, which I can use to enter things. I can have a pen, which I can change the color of, and so on. Uh, what that, and that'll be useful for you sometimes. But what I'm showing you is how to post something in your notebook. So let's say you have your reading response and you've scanned it using your phone. So it's a PDF and you're now going to insert it in here. So I'm going to go insert file. Insert as file printout. Helpfully, it's telling you that this is what you probably want if you're putting a PDF in. And it brings up this dialog. And I can now go and browse through my files. So I don't know, I'm just going to grab some random PDF that I have lying around, like an assignment or something. OK. And insert. And there it is. And it'll take it a moment to load. And there it is. And if I want, I can, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here so that I have a arrow so I can grab that and just I'm going to pull it over there. Okay, so that's it. That is how you paste something into your notebook. So please, when you're putting something like a response or an assignment or a lab write-up in, create a new page in your homework section of your notebook, give it a good title, and paste the thing in. Uh, if it's a PDF, you use the insert file. If you've just snapped a picture of a single page, which is often going to be the case with your responses, then it's probably an image file. You can insert the picture from file. Okay, so again, I'm just going to grab some random picture and insert it. And it's sticking it over in the corner here. And I'm just going to grab that and pull it over here just so we can see it. Um, or if you're doing this on a fairly fancy phone, you could probably go, I can't do this because I don't have a fancy phone. You could probably insert picture from camera, um, take the picture with your camera on your phone, and it'll just paste it straight in. That's how I think this will work, but since I don't have a fancy enough phone to do that, I haven't tried. All right, that should be it. Hopefully that helps you figure out how to do this.